the City team. It's Grantham, Asari, Harmon, Rowan, Coyle. Awusu, Bancroft, a trialist, Davis, Carroll, and then Bradbury as the ball's floating through to the back post. It falls to Carroll, it's blocked just before he could hit the back of the net. I thought it may have come off a blue shirt there, but the referee saw something I didn't, and it's a goal kick. No protest from the players there as well. So all the RAF have a chance to just build the ball out from the back. Whilst in the off-season, was also trialling last season as Bradbury intercepts the ball and plays it out wide to Nana Arusa on this right side. He'll run at his man, Jinkson to the right. Ball across the box, it's a brilliant box and a fantastic clearance from number 16 there from the RAF. How many times have we seen that this season from Nana Arusa down this right? delivering quality balls time and time out and it's just unfortunate that Bradbury couldn't get at the end of that one there. And that number 16 was Rawlings who's done really well to just get a, a toe on the end of it and just send it over the crossbar. Coyle, ball floated into the edge of the area to Rutu again, shot, again, blocked, and again. Ball for the RAF. Lewis Coyle to take and he smashes it right into that wall, bounces back to Coyle, jinks in onto his right, goes to the bar line, pushes it back to the back post, headed over and that's a really good chance for Charlie Rowan that's gone begging. Lewis Coyle does excellently on his weaker side as well down there, down the right hand side of the box and to deliver a ball to Charlie Rowan who you'd expect to do slightly better from that range out on his head. However still nil-nil here, we'll have to wait and see, he obviously had that shot few minutes ago. Yeah, it's a great ball and what an opportunity that was. Rawlings with a three header and a free run at the ball. Really should have done better there but the header goes over Grantham's crossbar. And City have probably been had a let off with that one. Brown up. Throwing into the box. Heading back from Coyle back to Owusu on this Right hand side, brilliant play from Abusu. Across the box, can't quite find Bradbury, but there's the first goal of the game. It's George Harmon. Again, Harmon breaking into the box. He's done that all evening. And brilliant. brilliant work down that right hand side from Nana Abusu. Jinked in, jinked out, ball across the box. Bradbury couldn't go and kind of get his foot on it, but that was all right because George Harmon, as we've seen so many times this season, just alert at the back post, alert to where the ball is. Great. Didn't. Harvey Bradbury was waiting in the box, which was a chance that he would have buried. Here's a trialist. Jinx in and out. Really well done from trialist. Hits it across. Saved and palmed away. But only as far as the, the, the left back, Bright, who does really well to just keep his composure as Nana Arusa was breathing down his neck. Playing in a more familiar left hand side, it seems, and rather than the centre, and he'll bump forward. Let's try this 14 to the left of him. Cuts in on his right. Keeps going, good ball into Coyle, shows off his man, goes down, penalty. Great start in a half of this game, not even 40 seconds into it, and City, with the first attack of the half, have won a penalty. Lewis Coyle straight away picking up the ball. Some of the, the RAF. rain absolutely thunders down here. So a chance for Lewis Coyle to double City's lead here. Coyle sends the keeper the wrong way. Easy as you like. 2-0 to Oxford City. Well, Lewis Coyle, two goals in two games, came off the bench against Hamill Hempstead and and looking for attacking options that aren't really on is Carroll, Coyle, Bradbury moving ahead of him, Coyle moves it out, great shot moving in the wind but well saved by Paul at Brig, we were right behind that and it did dip and weave and Paul at Brig was equal to it though, back to Arusu. Coyle. Floated in, Trialis just blocks him and he falls to Bancroft. It's been given the okay. 3-0, oh, did look 
A little bit offside there because the RAF defence went to sleep there and Bancroft just had the freedom of the inside of the box from a tight angle as well just to take his time and slot the ball in to make it three. Clips into the left channel, not dealt with well and the trial is confined. Bancroft again bursting speed down that right wing where he's had so much luck. Brilliant ball across and it's a tap in for trial is 22. Four for Oxford City and Bancroft gets his just rewards with an assist there he's been so dangerous round, down that right wing can you talk about getting his just rewards I think the trialist as well has certainly deserved that goal since coming on at half time he's broke past the RAF defence multiple times and uh, the, the chance from a yard out finally falls his way Trialist 18. McEachran. Ashby. McEachran. Goes all the way. He's allowed to jink in and out and still not been challenged. Potter blocked only as far as Trialist 14 on this left side. Across the box. It's going to be a goal kick. Substitute number 20. Great ball into the box. It's a free header. And it looks like Harry Way, the goalkeeper, has just got something on that. It's a corner. Well, what a fantastic ball. And the City defence for the first time, really, this game seemed to switch off. And that was a fantastic chance for the RAF to just get a consolation there. Way did brilliantly to get, to get down, down to Charles his 18 right. having to be alert to it. And so was Reese Fleet playing slightly out of position. Flint to Benyon. Benyon pushed through. This time, 20 Trialist 22 is onside, and he's got the freedom of the RAF half to just slot the ball home for his second of the game. And Oxford City's fifth. A brilliantly worked goal. And that's the icing on top of the cake for Oxford City this evening. Trialist, the Trialist there up top bags a brace as City score their fifth. Breaks the defensive line excellently as uh, the last time he tried to do so was deemed to be offside but this time timed his run perfectly and just slotted his finish com very composedly.